This week we are in the top flower patch and we're going to be having a look at some of the perennials that I use for cutting in arrangements. There are lots of fantastic perennials that you can grow in your garden that are great for cutting and some of them are real workhorses. They'll just keep producing flowers month after month after month. So let's have a look at some of my favourites. So first up we have got Astrantia. This is a fantastic flower that comes out at the beginning of June for me and keeps flowering for several weeks. The fantastic thing about Astrantia is that you can cut it back after its first flush of flowers and you should get a second one in late August, September time before the autumn frosts kick in. So it's great that you've got those two different times of the year that it will flower for you. And Astrantia comes in lots of different colours as well and different varieties and I grow quite a few pink ones, red ones, white ones here in the cutting garden. There are great for drying so you can dry them to use in arrangements at other times in the year and they are very easy to split and divide as well to produce more plants in your garden um, once they've got established so every two to three years I'll lift up a big clump of Astrantia I'll split it into three or four smaller clumps and I'll plant them in different areas of the garden. I have grown Astrantia from seed it is slightly difficult to get it to germinate I've found but if you sow the seeds and you keep it watered and you leave it for a month or two you can often come back just when you think you've given up hope and you find that they have germinated. They also self seed in the garden you'll find Astrantia plants popping up where you least expect them. You can dig them up bring them on and plant them out in an area of the border where you want them. So here is some of my Astrantia it's just starting to go over now and at the stage where I will start cutting it back to see if I can get a second flush of flowers later on. And the bees absolutely love Astrantia. You might be able to see that bee just down there. Astrantia can flop over in the wind so I tend to just support the beds with a few stakes at either end and some twine running along the length of them just to hold all the plants upright in case of storms. The feverfew in the garden is one of my favourite perennials for using at this time of year. It's got dainty daisy like flowers on it and long branching stems and I've used it in so many bridal bouquets and arrangements this year and it just keeps on flowering. I've had weeks and weeks and weeks of feverfew flowering. It's great to grow from seed, it's really easy, germinates really well, you'll find it self seeds in the garden and it pops up all over the place where you're least expecting it. Um, it can take over a little bit because it does just multiply and self seeds, so you have to be a little bit careful. But at the moment I don't mind that at all because I've just used so much of it that um, it can grow quite happily wherever it likes in my cutting patch. Just look at these gorgeous fever few daisy flowers. They're so pretty and they're dainty and delicate. They're just a very small size on lots of branching stems. They make a great filler flower in bouquets. I grow larger oxide daisies too, which you can use in a flower arranging. They are another great perennial to grow, but I think I prefer these ones. I've always preferred delicate, smaller flowers and these are just fabulous. Get different types of fever if you. You've got your little white heads here with a tiny, spot of yellow in the middle and then we've got our fever view here which looks more like a daisy with its deep yellow center and white petals. So really highly recommend this in your garden not only just to look pretty if you want a nice border flower but also if you are growing for cutting because it is just brilliant just keeps flowering and flowering and flowering and will give you a profusion of blooms to work with here we've got lunaria which is a great cut flower again to grow in your garden it comes in pinks and whites and purples that i grow Here's some pink Lunaria that I have been growing. It's very delicate and very pretty and nice long spikes to use in flower arranging. And it's an easy one to grow from seed so I do tend to do fresh batches every year as well to ensure a plentiful supply of flowers.
this bed behind me here has Linaria in it that I grew from seed in August last year so it hasn't quite started to flower yet but I might get some before the end of the season and certainly next year and I also have lots of white mallow in here which is a lovely cut flower perennial that you can grow and I have grown this in August from seed last year and it is now flowering its socks off and I'll have a closer look at this just now. So here's this lovely mallow I grow light pink ones and white ones here in the cutting garden and it makes a lovely flowering arrangements. The petals can get a little bit water damaged if it's been raining so you want to cut them when they're just coming out and it's nice and dry weather but they are very pretty flowers. Really easy to grow from seed, germinates really easily. And I was able to overwinter this and grow this on it, survived the winter quite easily under cover in the greenhouse and then I planted it out in the spring. Amelia the pearl here, it is a beautiful white flower to grow in your garden. Like I said, really easy to grow from seed and looks absolutely stunning in wedding flowers. As you can see here from this uh, bed of Achillea the Pearl and the Mallow, both of these were sown from seed last August, overwintered in the greenhouse and then planted out in the spring. And you can see that they are flowering that first summer, which is great. So you don't have to always go straight to buying plants in the garden centre and spending quite a lot of money on them. You can successfully grow from seed, which is more economical and you will get flowers. And these plants are maybe not the tallest in stem length this year, but they are very pretty and next year they will get even more well developed with long straight stems for me to use in cutting. I love the Arnegayum in the garden. These come back year after year and they're great structural flowers for using in arrangements and bouquets. And I use the smaller headed Arnegayum in buttonholes. This Achillea is another really easy one to grow from seed and germinates really well. So many beautiful colours that you can grow in the garden for using in arrangements every year. I find that Achillea does really well for me for about two to three years and then I replant with some newly grown ones from seed. Just behind me in the flower border here we have Anthemis which is a yellow daisy-like perennial that you can grow in your borders and it looks absolutely stunning here amongst the fever few. We'll have a closer look at it just now. I love the Anthemis in the garden. It's a really easy perennial to grow from seed and it quickly forms clumps in your garden. It'll also self-seed as well so you'll find it popping up unexpectedly in your border and you can move it around to where you want it to be. It looks gorgeous here in amongst all the fever few. And if you keep cutting it and deheading it, you'll get more blooms throughout the whole of the summer period. So I use them in flower arranging, which means I'm naturally deheading them all the time. And it's got lovely fern-like foliage as well that goes alongside it. And I like it because in the evenings and the night time, the flower petals all fold up and then they come out in the sunshine the following day. Thanks very much for watching this week's video all about perennials that I like to grow for cutting in the garden. There's so many different ones to choose from and it's surprising what you can use from perennials in a vase at home.